welcome in. It is time to talk a little Cowboys football. Nate, getting ready. You know him. Nate, you love him. I do too. Nate Newton. Uh, holy crap, Nate, you're back from Oxnard. And and the Cowboys are making some moves. Um, and and they've you know they've signed Linval Joseph. Do do I take that? Wait a minute. What's the name of the show, Nate? Let me tell you something, brother. Let Thank me you. tell so, you something. So please tell me, does the signing of Linvel Joseph seem, uh, indicate that my man from the University of Michigan, <clears throat> my home, Mozzie Smith, is just not ready? Not yet. I mean, he hasn't shown them mm. enough that uh, – either through him or the backups that they have in place that they feel comfortable enough, you know, so they're going to, when you don't have that monster in the middle, like we had Hankins last year, you know, and even just with Hankins wasn't, wasn't enough. We need for Osa. Now Osa is a good player uh, and we'll get to him later, but Maz is a very inconsistent player. Uh, You were excited the first two or three days in camp. Then as camp went on, he's just, the old guy show back up, the guy that couldn't get off on the snap cut, the guy that couldn't get his hands right. And it just did not make the coaching staff feel comfortable. The defensive line coach, the uh, defensive coordinator, Zim, they just don't feel comfortable. They, they, they don't want to start this season the way they ended last season with Green Bay running through us or with major teams running through us, teams that are equal to our talent running through us, you know, and then have a two-way go on defense. And, and, and let me say this right quick, like for you, for those of you that don't understand what I'm saying. What defensive coordinators like to do is if you want to throw all game, they prefer that. If you want to run all game, they prefer that. But they don't yeah. like for you to be able to have a two way go. So they can't set their defenses and they can't be confident. And then you can get players moving around because they don't know what they're seeing. They're seeing ghosts. If you want to run a lot, Teams can defense that. If you want to pass a lot, teams can defense that. But if you got that 60, uh, 60, 40 split or that 45, 55 split, that scares defenses to death because they can't get set for you. And that's what the Cowboys have been facing when we play playoff caliber teams. That's why they they are trying to sign uh, Mr. Joseph. That's why they went out and got Jordan Phillips. That's why – uh, not so much Carl Larson because I think he'll be on the outside, but that's why they're yeah. bringing in guys because they going to have to do this by committee because no one has stepped up to the plate to take this thing over. All right, talk to me about Lynn Bell now. You know, he was sitting on his couch, Nate, right? So yes. no other team had signed him. That's right. So that, he's 35 years old, Nate. Yes. That makes me worried a little bit. Would you please calm the Cowboy fan and me down? to say this dude can still play? Every year, you'll find 20% of this league sitting on the bench for teams that are in dire straits. And team and, and Mr. Joseph has said, he'll ramp up. We, we still got three weeks uh, before the first game, uh, a little, little bit more than two and a half weeks before the first. So he'll ramp up. He's been doing just enough so they can get him in shape. We don't need him for 40 snaps. We need him from anywhere from 25 to 30 snaps a game. And so first and second down, short yardage situations, goal line. You know, that's about 30 plays in a game where we need him and where we know we can get him on the field so he can be effective. And so if we don't need him 30, we don't need him 45, 50 snaps like we like we do Parsons or like we are uh, going to need uh, Marshawn, uh, the, the new kid, Neyland. He gonna have to play forty and fifty snaps, so you know, uh, so that that that's the deal with that right there. If this guy can come in and be in any type shape, okay, all right. So, um, what does it say that with two and a half weeks left to go before the season begins? I mean, you know, a cowboy fan, Nate, is going to say, "Oh, they're desperate." You know, are they desperate? Yes. Is this a sign of desperation? Yes. Yes. I mean, uh, Mr. Jones would tell you, hey, another day at the office. 
Uh, Zim will tell you another day at the office. But I promise you, in them meetings, it's some MFs and some Sonovans and some why you can't get this guy going, da da da. His first round pick, Mozzie, why is he so inconsistent? You know, it, it's been some heated discussions now, you know. And, and so my job is to coach. And that's if I'm a coach, Zim's job is to coach. But he's going to be on the scouts. Give me somebody. The scouts saying, hey, bro, there's no one out there. This is the guy that's out there. This is the freshest, biggest thing is Mr. Joseph. So uh, the thing that has always crushed the Cowboys for the last 15 years, if you want to beat the Cowboys, run the ball. Run the ball. Point yep. blank, nut. It ain't no, uh, you know, you know, you got your Aaron Rodgers, you got the kid at KC, you, you, but you don't play them every year. But the teams that – but when you do play them, it's in the playoffs. Uh the biggest thing that was so crushing was Parsons had the quarterback for Green Bay on his on on his podcast, and he said, "What did you see on tape that really made y'all excited? Well, we can run the ball. Whether it's at you or anybody else, we can run the ball. I would have set the podcast down and beat the quarterback up right then, but." <laughs> You know? <laughs> but he didn't do that, so hey, good for him. Good for him. Like, what happened? Well, you'd have been hearing some breaking news. Breaking news: Nate Newton has beat, have beat uh, the quarterback for the Green Bay Packers in death. Love, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah. Uh, but anyway, I'm it. glad he didn't, and we still have our star, and they still have their star. Yeah, good point. You need you need Mike around here, but uh, yeah. So, um, let's talk about Limbaugh a little bit. This is a dude who's strong. Yes. We always heard about Mozzie, too. This dude was like a, you know, a state champion in powerlifting and right. stuff. He's a strong man. He played for the Bills, I think, last year. He played for the Vikings under Zim. How much does that factor in? Uh, you know, Zim was the head coach when, when he played for the Vikings for a couple of years. He knows what Zim wants. We, we don't have huge linebackers. Like, right. Like, uh, our linebackers say like the 49ers got 49ers got some, got a pounder and they got a cover guy and they bring the thunder. Well, we don't have those uh, big guys like that. We got uh, Kendricks, uh, who's probably 5'11", 6 feet, 230. That's not a big guy. He's bigger than what uh, our guy was last year. He's a wily vet. But we got we to gotta nurture him until the season start and hope that he can give us anywhere from 14 to 16 games, maybe 17. And so, and the backups are Willie Harvey, number 55, the U.S. Avell guy. And we got the Maris guy that we drafted from Notre Dame, number 35. He's been flowing around. We got Overshone. All of these guys, except for Kendrick, are unproven guys in this league. So it's going to yep. take a few games. And if we continue to do these shows together like we're doing, we are not even in the preseason yet. Listen to me. Right. I am telling you something. The preseason starts the first four games of the year. Mm -hmm. That's when the preseason starts because now the veteran players can start getting in shape. And our first preseason game is against Cleveland Browns. Damn. Okay? So yeah. here we yeah. go. Yeah. So uh, it seems like, and, and you've you know been out there, and I know you're back home now, but You've been out there in Oxnard. The, the reports I hear about the kid from Notre Dame, Leopold, are, are good. Um, but I, is your point that he's not, I like he's, he's good for where he is in his career, but he, he's not quite ready? They thought he wasn't a tackler, but he seems to do, do, all, do okay in the games. He's a cover guy. He's always around the ball. He seems like he takes good angles. And that's all you can go by in practice is a guy taking a good angle because they ain't hitting. So now a yeah. guy started hitting, you know, uh, hitting in, um, in the games, and, 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 you, and you're going to be a little rusty. So you can't just judge a guy. And, and I'm serious. When I say uh, the preseason opens up with Cleveland, I'm not joking. That, yeah. That, I, no, I know. You cannot tell me. And I don't know if it was me and you talking about it the other day. The not the the back to back teams that I had that I played on in the nineties we wasn't the same team the first year we won as we was in the second year, 
And we right. weren't definitely the same team. We took a year off and came back the next year and won. We, 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 we wasn't that team. So this team has changed. First and foremost, we have true linebackers. We have a four-man line that is lined up, and you're going to know where they're at. We're going to have a guy over the center, a guy over the, the three technique, and, and, and they're going to be all original, genuine, one technique, fat guy, three technique, yeah. fat with athletic ability, two ends, that's athletic, but they're going to be bigger. These are different guys this year. So you you got to get rid and let me, And I'm talking about this preseason. You got – Cleveland, New Orleans. The New Orleans defense ain't going to be no joke. And then you got the Ravens. And the New York is, 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 is within our conference, so they're going to play. Oh, yeah. Listen to Brad. They're going to play, man, because everybody <laughs> talking about Daniel Jones is too. They have no running back. Their offensive yeah. line is garbage. Uh-huh. Them folks going to be good and mad when they see us, man. Cause they probably gonna be no lost their first two games. They probably gonna be one and two when they see us. They gonna be Get upset, that. Rad. You ain't They're upset. Be, Come on, Rad. Your dude from Michigan ain't doing that. Your dude Mozzie from Michigan is inconsistent. Come on, Rad. I'm just saying, man. <laughs> I thought my man was strong and good and big. And I, hey, hey, you know me, Nate. I'm still rooting for him. I'm right? rooting for him. Oh, uh, me too, you man. gave a first I'm round pick for this gentleman. But that hey, that light bulb has to come on too. How much is mental? How much is mental? All right? of it. Yeah. All of it. Yeah. See, I, you don't all the way miss with a first round pick. Right. I think mentally you may miss. Athletically, you don't. Because a guy can do certain things. And the scouts know. Will McClay and his guys know what this kid can and cannot do. It's the mental part. Did you talk enough to the doctors, the trainers, the equipment man, his girlfriend, his ex-girlfriend? You got to get in there and dig in there. You go talk to mom you and dad. They're going to say what you want to hear. Huh? You got to talk to the ex-girlfriend? Oh, yeah. I want to know if oh, he was a good better. dude. I want to know if huh? he was a good dude. Did he try to sneak back when he got another girlfriend? I want to know everything. <laughs> Yeah, because if he's bitter, sneaking, if it, and this ain't a good thing to say, but he'll sneak in a little dirty now. He may play a little harder. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't need no sour grapes up in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I need to know everything. Yeah, uh, do you take a bath Willie, every day brought, or every other day? I need to know. Yeah, you brought my man up, Willie Harvey, 55. Again, I'm not in camp every day. Haven't been. But everybody's when I watch salivating him, over him, bro. Everybody's hey, loving him. When I watch him in the games, I am, yeah. yeah so what's up? Right? Are I, I you did, okay with him or no? I think I think he's a good guy. He's a backup to Kendricks right now. They like him. I, I just want to see a lot of times when I saw him got trapped, I, I didn't know what the other backer was trying to do. Was he trying to fill a gap and he, and he was supposed to get outside? Or was the other guy supposed to keep outside leverage? You know what I'm saying? And, and, and him hit up in the gap. So – I couldn't read that clearly, but in the game, you'll know. Because when the starters fall in place, you'll know that, oh, yeah, he was supposed to get outside on this. Because a couple of runs where Maris and he and him was in there, it, it was kind of murky. They kind of okay. got caught up in the wash. But when uh, <laughs> but when Buddy Johnson 52 came in, Buddy Johnson was getting outside, had better angles, and was making tackles. So – uh, but it's hard for me to, to to judge and say, oh, this is the guy, this is the guy. I can't do that right now. Uh, yeah. I'm telling you, that first preseason game going to be a beast, man. It's yeah. going to be a beast. I, everybody runs me, no, they played the Rams and they that, played that the first preseason game. Yeah, they played that. Hey, <laughs> so let me ask you this, too. Uh, with, with regard to that uh, L- Las Vegas game, the Raiders game, right? Uh they kept their starters in longer, all those things. They so the help. narrative, you know, the narrative is, man, you know, Cowboys did really well in that game because they were going against the ones for a long time. Tell me, Nate, Anyhow. how you saw that game. Does any of that matter? The Raiders don't look like a fast team. And uh, the majority of the teams we're going to play are going to be fast teams. Yeah physical teams and yeah. the Raiders just didn't impress me 
nobody but Crosby on defense, and I can't think of number 50. It just, they just was not a fast team. And then they had this young wide receiver, 18 or 19. Now, he was lightning fast uh, for the Raiders. Yeah, the smart. Raiders didn't impress me as a fast team. Uh, and we handled our own offensive line, kind of handled their own. Uh, defensive line was okay because, like I said, it, it was running on us a little bit. So, but, man, I, the Raiders didn't impress me. I'm sorry. You know, okay. All right. Antonio, Antonio, go to your own and tell them that uh, you're going to need another year, I think. Yeah, yeah. Man, but All now right. I do no, know this. Just... Oh, I've seen ahead. teams in New Orleans Saints used to be – Notorious for losing all the preseason yeah. games and coming up killing you during the season. So do not go off of these preseason games no more than individual performances. That's what I look at. I can tell you that uh, Guyton did fairly well. I can tell you that BB at center did fairly well. That's what I look at. I do not look at preseason games, win or loses. I, I, I don't care. I've won Super Bowls and went one and three in the preseason. I, 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 okay. <laughs> I like yeah. that. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Matter of fact, matter of fact, I believe you were on a team that went 4-0 and in the preseason oh, don't and had bring Jimmy and Jerry in their first year. Hi! <laughs> we on our <laughs> way. The and then you went 1-15. <laughs> I don't you remember that at all or not? Oh, it started yeah. with the New Orleans debacle. Oh. That's when I knew Voodoo was in New Orleans just for real, baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. All right, so let's go to the offensive side of the ball. Um, again, we're not seeing the starters. So you mentioned Cooper. You, you, you know, you mentioned Tyler Guyton. It's good, right? It's good. Yes, it's, it's good. better it's to have just... those young guys look good and great out well than, than, than to not. Right. It's still not the regular season yet. But what um, what do we expect, man? I mean, like. We expect the team okay. to grow, uh, to come out against Cleveland and not lay down. I mean, okay. compete with everything you got. I like Cleveland. I like Cleveland defense, led by Miles yeah. Garrett. I think they got a nice safety. They got a nice linebackers. This, this Garrett kid makes some other guys yeah, play. Yeah, I'm about to say. He As makes a Dallas other guys Garrett, Arlington play. kid, yeah. Yeah, so – uh, I don't know if we win or lose that game, but how you perform, how my left guard, I mean, my left tackle and my center perform. Now, the left guard, he going to come. Our right guard, he going to come. Our right yeah. tackle going to give you everything he got. And if he can lay hands yeah. on you and smother you a little bit every now and then yeah. without getting the flag, he going to do that too. So I'm not worried about those three positions, but how well would they blend in with these other guys, these veteran guys, the quicker they blend in and get some rhythm, the better that gonna be. And uh, CD Lamb should be back by then. I about to say, no CD right. is gonna be yeah. hell to pay. <laughs> Man, I promise so you. So that's the next question. I mean, look, this has lasted longer than I thought it would. <laughs> is there any chance? Is there any chance that, like? You're, uh, you, when you were there, when what you guys go zero and two, yes. and then they they signed Emmett after two losses. Like, uh, do we have to endure a loss to Cleveland and a loss to New Orleans before Jerry finally gets it, or what? Tell me. Let me tell you like right here. CD say, I don't need to be paid more than the big dog in Minnesota. So Mr. Jones, them give him an offer slightly less. Let me do some CD talk. Everybody know Jerry's talk. I know CD's talk. Yeah. He won't equal yeah. or maybe 500000 less than yeah. what the guy got in Minnesota. Yeah. He don't, don't want $2 million less than the guy yeah. got in Minnesota. He yeah. just won't give him a million and a half more and he, he, he could be in there. Because if CD don't come in, if CD have to come in and play for the 17 mil and next year they may slap him with that tag, Oh my God! It's gonna it, that gonna be ugly, and then if that gets signed, that gonna be ugly. That gonna be ugly, man. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, that's nothing. Nobody, you know, the Cowboys uh, management doesn't want to deal with that. Obviously, the fans don't even want to hear about it. So, gut, gut feeling, Nate. 
Do you believe? You got to be in. I don't. I don't. Do you, I, do you, some do things I got to believe. Be here. Some things I got to believe, Rad. Like yeah. you, you, you can say rats have pretty. Is silver yeah. or is it white? I don't care what color it is. He's he's yeah. doing the he's doing the podcast and his hair's there. That's all yeah. I care about. Logos is there. there yeah, Logos is there. Good, man. You got the got Jimmy Johnson look, baby. Yeah, I got a lot of it. Yeah, yeah, well, you do got a lot of it. Now you should well, have yours. So I saw. No, I know a lot of people kind of start, <laughs> you know, putting the, you know, little strings in their hair. You that's all yours, Rad. That's all mine, baby. Okay, good, good. good. Uh, hey, if it was a toupee, I'd pick it right up for you right now. <laughs> Don't do I that. I leave the show. If you do that, I'll, I'll leave the show. <laughs> I'll leave the show. Oh, my God. Please. I'll leave the show if you, had, if you did that. Please. So, um, yeah. And, and then, uh, so running back, obviously, we know it's Zeke. We know it's Rico. I liked what I saw from Deuce Vaughn. And, and, and Nate, maybe maybe because of the, the wonderful story, right? With his daddy working for the team and all that stuff, man. Maybe, maybe I'm, you know, my heart is rooting for him. Tell me, tell you, you know what? Head. You you remind huh? me of the typical cowboy fan. I am. Yeah. I, 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 if we keep every rooting heart player, <laughs> we'll be we'll be one and sixteen. We can't We're keep every rooting heart. Oh, I love him. Oh, I like him. Oh, he, he did. Well. His daddy, oh, me. Mr. It Jones, well. pulled a great PR move and and got a kid for because his daddy was the scout. Let me tell you something. This kid, <laughs> if this kid made the team, he better be to earn his way on it. And this year here, you cannot not use him. Yeah, it's either be him or Lemke. You got to use these guys. You can't yeah. let Zeke think he can tote this ball 20 times. He can't. No. Let We no. got to use this guy. We got to use Rico Dotto. We have to use every running back that we keep on the active roster. And if it's three, we have to use them, not only during the game, but we have to use them during the special teams. We have to use these guys. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. So, you what believe you in heart? Huh? You I believe know. in heart? Look, it's bleeding a hole in my shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Come what, on, uh, man. <laughs> what do you think about the new kickoff stuff? I'm going to let it happen. I, I'm going to let it happen because I'm not so, mad at somebody's going to do something good. Somebody's yeah. going to do something good. And it's going to yeah. be a mini 18 that try to do something good and it's going to backfire. <laughs> <laughs> but if somebody's going to do something good, yeah. and I'm hoping yeah. it's our you, team. I'm you hoping it's our special- team. You played some special teams early, man. Yeah. But that's that's got to be weird. That's you know weird, you man. You have to be a great athlete the way this thing goes. You got to be a great athlete. You whole career doing it one way, and now you're doing it another way? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's got to be weird. All right, so what else? Let me think. Uh, kicking game's fine. We can talk about the three phases. So uh, what do they do in this final preseason game? Health. Now, we know. Health. We know. Health. In the past, Health. this was Health. the showcase for Health. everybody who was dying to make the team. Is that it? Health. They know who's going to make the team. Okay. Health. One year is always some guy that breaks out and does something great. He'll yeah. be the 60th man on the roster. Health. Yeah. Get through this thing with health because we need for Guyton to play a little bit. We need for BB to play a little bit. So they can continue to get better and better and better. We need for Mir- uh, uh, the kid from Notre Dame, Mirrors, uh, number 35. We need for these young guys that have possibilities of being in the, in the rotation at some point in time. Marshawn, uh, Neelam, give him, give him some reps. Don't be shy. We got to. We, they need reps because these are core guys that we're going to depend on during the year to make this team better after our preseason. All right. Let me ask you this one. Who's going to be the backup quarterback? Who who been the backup quarterback? If you got to ask that question, Red, you haven't been watching any football. Yeah, I know. I mean, has the kid? Don't waste our podcast on a guy that we're going to start judging next year. Don't you do wow. it? Don't you wow. do it? Don't you do wow. it? Oh my goodness! I'll talk about him next year. I've, I've right. told management how I felt. I mean, my my vote doesn't count, but this kid should not. Even worry about this year. Just go out 
and throw balls during the preseason, be the best you can, work during the offseason, go out there and get uh, Dak's pop lock guy, work with him during the offseason, then come back ready next year. The, the, the window is like this for the Cowboys. The window is like yeah. this. So yeah. And closing. Yeah. It's yes. going down. Too. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So good. That's all the answers we needed, I think, man. I'm uh, I'm so anxious for that first preseason game. Yes, in sir. Cleveland. Cleveland. Huh? Can you imagine we playing Cleveland in the preseason? Man. Wow. <laughs> I'm yes, anxious sir. for it. <laughs> yes. All right. We need to win it. Beautiful. Nate, it's always great talking to you, man. Your insight is unbelievable. Your opinions, your thoughts, I appreciate them as always. And uh, let's do this again next week, shall we? Yes, we will. We'll do it early. Make sure we get it early yeah. after this game. Early, <laughs> baby. My schedule. My schedule. Okay, we'll see you early.